How's it going, everybody? Welcome back at long last. At long last, welcome back to Softwaring. I hope you're having a good one because I am so excited to be jumping into one of my all-time favorite games that we have ever played here on the channel. We've got me here on the right. This is about as close to what I look like as we can get. We've got Bob Newby of The Sims fame here on the left. And we have Bella Goth of The Sims fame across from Bob because of course we do. These are going to be our three founders for our software development company. And if you don't know what Software Inc. is about, it is exactly what it says in the tin. You're making software. You can also make hardware. You are a company trying to make money and you can go from 1980 up until present day and beyond. And that is exactly what I plan to do. So jumping into build mode, we're going to have to do a couple of things here. We're currently living in what's essentially a garage, which has a single room, a bathroom, but we also have this room that we can lease. I'm going to do that right off the jump because basically we need the extra space. And then beyond that, what I'm also going to do is go in here and just build out some kind of very, very basic little office. We'll go for some white desks along this wall. We can go ahead and get ourselves a few chairs as well. I think we'll go for, we'll go for the blue ones. We'll go for the blue ones. We'll get three of those. Cause we're gonna need, you know, three employees, three desks, three computers. That's gonna be next. So those can live right about here. We can also give them some accessories. We could say headphones so that there's some noise canceling and a bit of social isolation. We could give an inbox, which is gonna have the bonus of improving our leadership and service skills. A calculator is good for programming. A drawing tablet is good for artists and so on and so forth. For now, I'm kind of thinking we go with the headphones just because it's relatively simple. So we'll dump those in there. Get ourselves a little desk lamp, say right here. Get ourselves a little cactus down there in the corner for a bit of decoration. And you know what? I kind of want a carpet. I'm not going to lie. I kind of think a carpet in here would be pretty good. So go ahead and put a carpet right about there. It would be a nightmare for this chair. Let's be completely honest. I don't know if you've ever rolled a chair over the edge of a carpet like this, but it's a nightmare and I hate doing it, but it's what we're going to go for because it adds a bit of color to the space. And then in terms of adding things to the space beyond that, we can add a bookshelf, which is going to boost the environment stat of the room, making it more pleasant to be in. And it also boosts the skills of the workers in the room as well. So we'll go ahead and put a bookshelf in that corner. We could do a couple of them. I don't know if the stat stacks, so maybe we'll do two of them just because we absolutely can. And then while we're here, we can also do some uh, ceiling lights. And then this room is basically going to be a break room. It's going to be where we have things like a vending machine so that my employees can get something to eat, which they're absolutely going to be appreciating. We can get them maybe some kind of what have we got in here? A common room. We can get them a couch. I think we'll go for a nice sort of gray couch against the wall. So they have somewhere to sit and eat their snacks. We can get them a water cooler as well, which I think I can pick up and just put right against that wall. I think that would look a little bit better right about there. In fact, maybe I just move it closer to the radiator. I know that's not a great place for a water cooler, but there's method to my madness. And the method is basically that I want to put a table right here. I want the corner table to be right about here. And then what I can do is go into, is it common room? Is it canteen? I think it's canteen. I want to get a mini fridge because a mini fridge means that my employees can bring their own food and put it in there. But I'm also kind of thinking we get them a nice espresso machine so they can have some coffee. And that should be a pretty decent little, little break room right there. I think that'll keep them relatively happy. In terms of lighting, we can maybe just do, I think one ceiling light should be totally fine. And really, that's about all they're going to need. So that's going to mean they can eat, they can drink, they can get coffee, they can bring their own food, they can relax. But most importantly, they can work. And that's what I need them to do. I need them to work. I need them to make money. We have $25,930 left after buying all of that. We started with $40,000. And I'm actually not done. I want to get them a clock because it, uh, I think, makes them a little bit more effective, which is great. Again, I don't know if that stacks, but it's fine. We can also... Wait, can I randomize... I can ran. Oh, that's cool. So I can randomize, I think, the painting that's going to be on the, the pictures now. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Let's do a couple of these just because I because I can. So we get one there, one there. Can I get one down here as well? I absolutely can. There we go. We got the cat. Oh, I love software and cat. Look at him. Look, he's such a good boy. 
He's such a round boy. And there we go. We've got everybody getting up and heading into their computers. They're not going to be doing anything, but that's okay. It is day one, month one, January 1980. That's completely fine. I want to have a look at the market a little bit. I want to have a look at all of the companies and I want to sort by worth. So we're right down here at the bottom. We are Nerdrasoft, which of course we are. I don't know why anyone would be surprised that I'm not playing Nerdrasoft. I've even got the logo. This is the thing you can do now. You can design a logo. I didn't design this Nerdrasoft logo. Someone made the Microsoft logo and the Nerdrasoft one is just the Microsoft logo with inverted colors, uh, which it's usually at a 45 degree with rounded corners, but I don't know how to use the the logo editor in Software Inc. So I just stole someone else's and uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's that's why it's not going to be on on merch. It was very briefly. I very, very briefly made a Nerdrasoft shirt and thought better of it very, very quickly. <laughs> that seems really sketchy, but this is what we're looking at at the moment. We are sitting here with twenty five thousand five hundred eighty dollars. The top company, Hewittware Digital, is worth four hundred and eleven million dollars. That's a lot. That's a long, we've got a long way to go, and that's fine. Having a look at all of the software, the most recent stuff we're seeing going out is a game called Horse Show, which is mediocre. That's fair enough. Active users, 9,000 profit was there. What's the most profitable thing that's ever gone out? Door 2, an operating system seven years ago, 470 million. So operating systems, of course it is. All right. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Here's here's what I'm thinking. We need to make some money. We need to get started. We need to start, you know, earning our keep a little bit here. So we're going to start with contract work and we don't have too many choices, but we can still make this work. We can do embedded systems. We just need a system programmer. So that's fine. We'll have me lead that for the time being. We'll go ahead and accept that work and we'll grab a I guess we'll just grab another one. We'll set Bob to be the leader on that one. And we can hopefully manage the both of these. Yeah. So basically with contract work, you don't need it to be perfect. So this at this point is fine to push into development. This blue line is how far we need to go with the development. So we'll promote that and fix some bugs. We can develop this one as well and we can promote it and fix some bugs. My people are going to leave at 4 p.m. So basically as soon as 4 p.m. comes along, in fact, I think they're done. So finish and finish. One was outstanding. One was uh, inadequate but we now have $49,921, which is $9,921 more than we started with. So that's not bad. I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm also not sure why the day hasn't skipped over to the next one. There we go. We'll skip to the next day. We have $45,323. We should probably start looking at making our own things. That's kind of something I wanna get into right off the bat. I'm also keenly aware that Software Inc. now has accounting and I don't necessarily know how this works. I'm not going to lie. I think you do need dedicated accounting teams and you do have to pay taxes now. And there's like a lot of things in the game that are designed to stop it from spiraling the way it usually does. So I'm going to try and be mindful of that. But <laughs> this early, I'm not going to worry that much about it. Uh, let's go ahead and have Bella lead up this particular logistics application. And let's go ahead and have me lead up another one so that we can get a little bit more money coming in today. And while they're working on that, I want to start looking at software because I have this idea. I want our first piece of software to be a game. I want it to be, I guess, a role playing game adventure simulation. It, I was looking for like action is what I'm looking for here because I have a very specific name in mind. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with adventure and I'm going to call this uh, King Doom, right? King Doom feels like such kind of an ACs title for a video game. And in my mind, King Doom is like a, it's like Doom, but it's like a medieval setting and melee focused rather than guns. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure a game like that exists somewhere, but that sounds really visceral and fun to me and sounds so 1980s. So King Doom is going to be the uh, <laughs> the game of choice here. And I guess what we'll do is we're going to skip to the advanced settings for all future projects. So it is going to be an original IP. It's not going to be subscription based. It needs to use an existing framework, which is basically the engine that's going to run it. And we want to go for the most recent release, which is going to be Vision Trim Library by Trilink Corporation. 
Now we can see here that this is going to have a tech level of 1976 for the game design, 1976 for the graphics, 77 for the audio. So got some Star Wars audio in there. It's not bad. No multiplayer. That's fine. It does offer customizable characters, post-processing. It offers recorded dialogue. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. That seems like a decent little framework. And the reason that's good is basically anything that's blue here is something that we can relatively easily add to the development cycle because it's sort of supported in the engine and it's it's going to make things easy. I don't know if I want to do... I don't know if I want to do an open world, but looking at the stats here, the expected interest right now is 26%. If I do an open world, it goes to 84%. That seems like a good shout. I don't necessarily want to throw anything else on there because we are looking at less than a year for the development, which seems pretty solid. So we'll go to the next page. The 2D editor that we're going to be using to build this thing is going to be Power Suite, released in 1977. The audio tool is going to be Scintake Pro, released in 77 as well. And the operating system that we want to put this thing on is going to be whatever the most recent kind of popular thing is, which is Door 3. It's a computer operating system. There are a couple of consoles that come out recently as well. But what I think we'll do is release this onto Door 3. And if it's popular, we can port it to some other operating systems and consoles as well. So that's going to be the plan. We'll stick with one operating system. This is our balance for interest. If I bring this down to here, we start losing a little bit of interest. If I bring it this way, we're losing interest. Can I get the interest to be any higher than 80? There's an 86 in there somewhere. Can I get an 87 by chance? I don't think I can. So go for 86% expected interest, none wasted, which is great. And then we need to look at a publisher because we don't have the skills nor money to fund this thing on our own. So we're going to have them fund it, market it, and print it. So that's how it's going to be distributed. And it's not going to be exclusive to anything. Now, they are going to be taking 43.1% of royalties. They want a May of 1981 release date. So we have a year, what is it, March, April, a year and two, maybe three months to do this. They're going to be $21,000. I'm, I'm willing to do that. It's going to be Dange Digital. That's not, that's not a pleasant word. Dange Digital uh, is going to be our publisher. So we're going to develop that. And what we're going to do is go ahead and start developing these two contracts. We'll right click on these arrows here to increase the priority. We'll bring the priority down on King Doom. And I just want to get these guys promoted into beta so that we can fix some of the bugs and just get them out the door relatively quickly with outstanding quality on both of them. So we now have $90,000. We're working nicely on King Doom and... Honestly, if we keep up the contract work, we could probably relatively easily afford to bring in another employee. We just don't really have the space for another employee right now, so I don't think we're going to bother with that. What I might do is just turn on build mode for a second to refresh the music, because for some reason that's still a thing you need to do in this game. But that's that's fine. It's not the uh, It's not the end of the world. We'll go ahead and speed things up and get everybody out of here. It is now March of 1980. We actually spent a decent amount of money is what we did there so what are we what are we actually spending here so in january we spent nine about 10 grand on construction in february we spent 6800 on dividends which is interesting so that's money that we're paying out to the estates of our founders okay okay <laughs> well fair enough and then bills we've got coffee electricity rent and water fair enough uh and then deals we've got funding from different deals and whatnot okay well i'll tell you what now let's go ahead and grab another couple of logistics applications i don't think i can i grab two at one time that actually seems kind of cool if that's a thing i can do can i just accept both i can oh i like that i like i like that i can accept both of those at the same time that's pretty cool uh, i don't know if we need to iterate on these multiple times we'll do at least two and that at least gets us through this phase. We'll promote you, promote you. And then about 3 p.m. we'll go ahead and finish this one, finish that one. Both were outstanding. We're now above $100,000, which is lovely. And I mean, King Doom at this point, I mean, we have over a year to do this. So I think my plan for King Doom is going to be let it sit in the design phase for a few months, hopefully get a couple of iterations on it. And then we can hopefully move it into alpha get it into beta get it out of here in may of 1981 
and hopefully it's going to be successful. That's the goal. If this thing isn't successful, we can keep going with the contract work, but I'm kind of hoping it will be. I'm pretty sure we can also look. So looking at all software, looking at releases again. What are we, we're doing an adventure game. The last adventure game was Gun Killer 2 in 79. It was great. Made $21 million. Still has 356,000 active users. That's not bad. Isn't there a calendar? There is a calendar. Can I look at 81? So what do we got coming out here? We have door four. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that the, uh, the successor to the operating system we're putting this game on is going to be coming out in that same month. We have a console coming out, well, a console operating system the month prior. We have antivirus there. We have, do we have no other games? We have a simulation game coming out the same month. That's fine. When do we have adventure games? We have Air Tricks 2 in December of this year. We have RTS and sports. Okay. So we have a bit of space between Air Tricks 2 and King Doom. I'm I'm kind of okay with that. I think that'll be that'll be alright. I'll tell you what we probably should do. Let's go ahead and call some cleaning just to tidy this place up a little bit, because it is a little bit miserable looking. There we go. A lead designer is working on a project with no inspiration, which can impact which can severely impact quality. Interesting. Who is leading this right now? Bob. And he, he doesn't have any inspiration. Lead designers need inspiration to generate good ideas and it will slowly drain as they use it during the design phase. Inspiration won't affect an employee's creative uh, creativity until the bar is below the center line. Okay. Let's have Bella lead up the, uh, the King Doom development then, since Bob is feeling a little bit uninspired right now. And the reason Bob's going to be feeling uninspired, the reason I think my character is feeling uninspired as well, is basically because I've thrown different projects at them already. So they're just going to be a little bit overwhelmed. And you know, I think what I'm also going to do here is just let them sit and work on this for a couple of months. We have $92,000 here at the top, so it's it's not all bad. We can let them focus on King Doom. We can hopefully, yeah, we're really not spending all that much. We're spending, what, 5000 ish a month on, on things. We're going to be fine to basically sit here and let this, this go. So hopefully we can max out the design on this. It's not the most complicated game. A year a year and like three or four months is more than I was expecting to get for this thing. So absolutely no complaints. Let's also call some cleaning. I'm going to call IT support as well, just to look at the computers in case they're getting a bit slow, which they might have been, they might not have been, but at least now they're going to be totally fine. And I mean, yeah, development on this is going pretty well. I'll tell you what I will do. I think next month, maybe we do take some contracts just to you know, get a bit, get a bit of money in here. We're down below $80,000. So if we have a look, we have logistics applications. This one's actually for 21,000. And the good news is everyone's feeling inspired again. So I'm going to give this one to me. I want to say we'll give it to me and we'll see what happens. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to. Oh yeah, we can do this. We can absolutely do this. It's no problem at all. We'll just go ahead and develop it and we will promote it. We'll get some bugs sorted out. That's over 10 of them. That's great. Can I get over 20 of them? I absolutely can. There's the round boy. Look at him. I love him. I love him so much. I really, he looks like my cat. I've got a cat called Ninja that looks just like this and is just as round. It's, oh, he's such a good, he's such a, <laughs> he's such a good cat. Look at, look at him. He's going about his business. It's I, I, honestly, this look, I don't know if you got a good look at the character models and software right now. Like they, they look like this. I don't know if you remember what they used to look like, but the character models and software have gotten so much better. Like, I really, I love how it's coming along. It kind of looks like, is it Paralives or Life by You or something like that? It's one of those Sims-like games that's coming out. I hope this guy, this, mo I think this model for Software Inc. Cat has been the same for ever since the cat was at, I, I never want it to change. I really, really genuinely, genuinely never want that model to change. It's so good. It really, really is. Oh, look at that. 94,000. Not bad. Tell you what, give me, give me another logistics application. Let me give it to myself to lead that up just to make sure we got the money. We can get this designed in hopefully no time at all and get it out the door today just to make sure that we're financially solid for everything that we're doing here. Can I get this done today? I think I can go ahead and promote it get a few bugs fixed, send it out. It was outstanding. 23,000 for that guy is not bad. 
Chase Soft Studio raised the revenue cut of Wareshop from 11.7 to 15.4%. So that is digital distribution. Okay. Interesting. We should open a digital distribution platform. I... <laughs> that seems like a great way to make some money, but I don't think we can afford it. I'm thinking though, I wonder, should we put a server in here? So if I was to go into build mode real quick and I was to get myself, so got a, got a server here. I can get a small server, right? It has to be on a table, annoyingly, but I can get a small server. We'll go ahead and get this guy. We'll get a nice little, <laughs> this might be ridiculous, but I'm, I'm going to try this because I really like the idea of having a, uh, of having a server in the break room. That's kind of funny to me. Uh, so that's, that's fine. Can I rename this server? Object color, connect servers, replace. Where's my servers tab? I don't remember for the life of me. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. So server zero. We're just going to call this uh, source control is what we're going to do. And it's got 50 megabits per second bandwidth. That's fine. Does that mean, can I now put this guy? So I, I don't think I can put this on source control until it's uh, project details. SCM none. I don't know if I can actually assign this to uh, to source control at the moment. That's fine. Also, looking at this guy, it is October. We actually might be really far behind in development. Let's let's push this thing through and hope we can actually get it finished in time. Uh, this is the server. Let's put it on source control. This guy is hopefully doing just fine. I don't know if source control really has all that much of a benefit at this stage, but we're going to find out is what we're going to do. And I'm also going to say this comes out in May. I'm going to cut it a little bit close, but I think we're going to try and keep this thing. If we have to, we're going to keep this in alpha up until April. Just to be safe. We're going to we're going to try and do that. Also, let's call cleaning we'll call IT support. We'll call maintenance as well. I don't think anything necessarily needs cleaned, but or fixed. But just to be sure, we'll make sure everything is is up and running nicely, which it certainly seems to be. And this is actually coming along really, really well. We're over halfway on this uh, this particular phase, which is great. So we'll just let them keep going with that. And I guess we should... Let's grab a cheap little embedded system job here. We'll give it to me and just try to get... Oh my god, that goes so quickly. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's develop it. Let's promote it. And let's ship it on out. Outstanding quality is absolutely fantastic. I'm excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I've got good feelings about King Doom. I also love the concept of King Doom. I think it's, I still think, you know, it's 1980. You've got a game like Doom, but it's medieval setting and it's melee. Folk. It just sounds, it sounds cool. It does. I don't know about you, but I think it sounds really, really cool. What is this? What have, what have we got here? Uh, so that's, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. How are we spending so much money? So my bills are, electricity's gone up a little bit. That's fine. Licenses. Oh yeah, we do have to pay money on the licensing for, for everything that we're using. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be totally fine. It's also looking like King Doom is pretty much going to be done uh, by the end of March, 1981, which is very exciting. It means that we are going to get a decent little bit of time for some uh some some beta testing and some bug stomping which is amazing news it has slowed down a little bit i'm really i'm hoping because it's, it's going into beta next month one way or another i'm hoping they can get it to 100 percent here at least 99 before the end of march 99 before the end of march that was that was good i'm heading for bankruptcy why did i just spend 20 why have i just spent 17,000 in bills oh i paid 12,000 in taxes that'll be why all right well that makes sense we're we're cutting it close is what we're doing. We're definitely cutting it close. I'm also thinking that, uh, there we go. Code 100%. Can I, will this highlight red? There we go. Promote it. That's fine. We're not getting much time to do the bugs, but you know what? It'll be all right. Let's call cleaning. Let's call IT support just to look at the computers. And hopefully this thing's going to be good. It needs to go out this month. I'm very much heading for bankruptcy. This thing needs to go out this month. 150 followers. You know what? Release it. How is it? What are we What are we looking at here? We only found some small issues here and there. We can tell a lot of work went into it. Four stars, four stars, and one star. <laughs> so 
So basically, it's magnificent. They can tell a lot of work went into it. These guys don't know who we are. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's immediately update this thing as best we can. We'll try and bring up all these tech levels. We are going to be using Picture Frames 2. We are going to be using Wave Shop 5. We'll do source control. We'll fix any bugs that come in. Basically, this is going to bring it up to slightly more modern standards. And it looks like we might be able to get this out before the day is even over, which is fantastic news. So that's gone out. The next thing I want to do. So let's have a look. The quality is great. The creativity is ordinary. That's good. That is good. That means it might actually be quite successful. Uh, I want to port it immediately because if we look at release dates, door four just came out. What I'm also going to do is go for anything that's come out since I started development. So we'll go for these guys. This one's not very popular in iBoy Connect when it came out last month. I'll tell you what, we'll not do this one. We will do this one because it's quite popular and that'll be fine. So we're going to port it to four. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do that one. We'll do those three. So port it to those three operating systems. We're already supporting it, which is great news. We could start working on expansion packs as well, but I think for now, let's just focus on updating it. There's no bugs right now, but that's okay. Let's prioritize the porting and see how this goes. I'm heading for bankruptcy. It is the end of the workday. We're at $38,573. King Doom has zero active users. 4,000. Okay. Okay. It actually, it actually made a little bit of money there, which is great news. We've got bugs being verified and being fixed immediately, which is also great news. So at the end of today, in fact, maybe just right away, we go ahead and send out this update so that they can focus in the ports. And actually, I want to check something very, very quickly. How is door four doing 177,000 active users is great news because we are, like I said, porting to door four. So hopefully, what are we on? 8,000. We doubled the active users. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's keep this going. If we can have a look at door again, 230,000. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Basically, we're about to open up another 200,000 potential customers for uh for king doom and i'll tell you what we'll also do let's get another update going we'll fix these bugs we'll make sure we're on top of it we'll make sure that the the customers the players are as happy as they can be we'll send out 78 bug fixes right there Hundred and forty-one thousand dollars right now One hundred eighty-five thousand dollars right there not bad this thing might make money which would be amazing and keep in mind we have got a publisher that's taking a big old chunk of that money so it's not exactly ideal but i'm i'm quite happy with that king doom has has done great i'm i'm quite i'm quite pleased i wish i could lease this whole space but it is just the idea that this is is that this is a garage and this is obviously like a like a house so it's uh it's not really <laughs> it's not really an option unfortunately uh but i want to see how are we doing 185 232 I'm so pleased with, I'm so happy with this. I really am. I'm so, so happy that this is working out. I'm also hoping that porting this thing to all of these other operating systems is just going to be more money at the end of the day. We'll go ahead and finish that as well. Let's see. 16,800, 290,000. Good. I'm pleased. I'm definitely, I'm definitely pleased with that. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let's go ahead and start working on an expansion pack. I don't think it's going to be all that popular. But we can do, we can do gameplay, we can do sprites. Can I do audio? No, I can't do audio. That's fine. Let's bring the gameplay up a little bit. Let's bring the sprites up a little bit. Bring this up a little bit. We can max this out quite nicely. It's less than a year. A lot of it wasted interest though. So we'll do something like this. That should be fine. The 2D editor in question can be this guy. Design and development team is going to be core. $19? I don't think so. We'll do like $14 for the expansion. And I think we'll call this uh, King Doom. It's it's not a sequel. It's an expansion. I don't know what kind of expansion it's going to be. I guess it does a bit of everything. We'll call it King Doom Longsword. That sounds mean. So every expansion for the King Doom franchise is going to be named after a medieval weapon. That sound that sounds cool. Uh, that sounds that sounds really metal. Like I like to imagine this would be like. <laughs> The soundtrack to this would be like 8-bit bardcore, basically. 
think the banished soundtrack to the din 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 think that meets like doom 2016 so <laughs> i need to hear that now i need to i i need to, i have i have a guitar that's tuned to drop b behind me i'm once i'm done with this video i'm gonna go try and make a a banished meets doom song <laughs> anyway um <laughs> oh god let's get that developed let's start updating uh king doom as well the good news is expansions really don't take long to uh to work on so hopefully <laughs> i can't i can hear it in my head i can hear exactly what that song would sound like and i love it i really really do it's so good oh man that's amazing that's so good all right well here's I, I don't know if this is gonna have followers now that i think about it that might be a problem having uh have an expansion going out without any with any follow because i'm i can market it but i'm not very good at marketing so i don't know let's uh let's just get this thing developed we can start marketing it we can announce a release date it's what december of 81 right now we could do May of 82. I feel like we'll have the time. It's only a few months away, but I'm going to say May of 82. So it's a year since the, the original game came out. We'll send out a press build, which might be terrible, but we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, this thing's going to be fine. This thing is going to be fine. And you know what's also not fine is the state of this office. <laughs> Let's very quickly get it cleaned up a bit there. There we go. All right, so 720 something followers. That's not bad. This thing's still making money, which is great let's uh do i want to send this through the review process i don't think i do outsourcing the reviews are that's going to be expensive as well so you know what we'll just trust our instincts and say that it's going to be fine we'll promote it it is let's see kingdom longsword has reached alpha that's fine can i have a look at the review pre-release review of king doom longsword nerdersoft has put out a build for king doom longsword we're giving it a test run they're not well known in this market. We haven't really heard about King Doom Longsword. It might be the new big hit and it has all the new features. You'll be able to try it, able to try it in the near future. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. We've got nearly a thousand followers. I am gonna need to print my own copies or order copies. And I think that's what we'll do is, is order them when the game goes out. And I guess we should also have a look. Has this made a profit? It still hasn't, which is a little bit worrying. Uh, <laughs> is there anything to port it to? Let's have a look. We've got you. Not really, basically. There's, there's not really anything worth porting this to, especially with the expansion that we're working on. Maybe we just, maybe we just start working on a sequel or maybe we update the game a little bit. So it's a little bit better than it was. Bring in wave shop five, just to bring the audio up to scratch. Can I prioritize this? 134 bugs as well. Yeah that's that's hopefully gonna make make the players really happy there we go 140 bugs let's get that finished get that out there everything's been fixed it's been reported everything's been verified still making money it's march i want to see how the expansion does i'm curious to see how the expansion does we're two months out from long swords release but you know what i'm gonna do i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave it there for today because anticipation or something like that i'm gonna try and keep these episodes short and sweet i don't want two hour long episodes of software inc because it really be a really short series be like three episodes and then we're done so yeah we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave it there and see how kingdom longsword does in the next one and see what else we can work on we have six hundred and sixty one thousand dollars we might need to move out of the garage and into another building, which is something we can do. We can move into an apartment building, rent two apartments, maybe have the development team in one apartment and then have an accounting team in, in another. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Either way, thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm so happy to be back in Software Inc. This is gonna be a great time. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.